I am obsessed with Flash Gordon, and I, I think you guys might be involved in this. And so, oh, are you? Oh, yes, we are. I can tell you all about it if you want to hear. Oh, I very much want to hear. But not too much. But not too <laughs> much. Right, I'm only going to. I'm only going. I'm only going to tell you a little bit. That's a lot. So Taika is writing it. It was a movie that was a huge influence on him growing up. It is one of his favorite movies. He initially said to me let's do it animated. I said, okay. Then we got into it and started developing it. And he said, no, let's do it live action. I said, even better. He has the most fantastically interesting vision for this movie. And, and you can only know it is Taika. It is what he does. It is the way he looks at the world. He is the greatest guy in the world. He is the funniest guy in the world. And he thinks on a different plane. And this movie embraces everything that's special about Taika and his vision and how do you surprise an audience? Here's my follow up to that. Taika is like what is probably one of the most in demand people in Hollywood right now. How do you do you envision this as where can it fall in his schedule? How close are you with the script that everyone's happy with? Well, he's writing it. So. When somebody writes a script that they're going to direct, they're obviously going to really like the script, right? So you, you get a big leg up, right? A lot of times, you know, you go to a huge director with somebody else's script and it's, he's got to reinvent it. They got to make it their own. They got to whatever. This is going to be Taika ready. I've been talking to Taika about this movie since I first saw his Thor, right? And that's what made me huge. Well, in fact, I saw the movie before that. Right. And he did this little movie in New Zealand that was just insane that I love. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hunt for the world, hunt for wilder people. And that's the first. And, and that's what got me interested in him and this. And we sat down just to talk in general. We went to a bar together, you know, with this guy, Matt Riley, who was an executive at Fox. We started kicking around ideas. And 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 so this is six years in the making also. Right. So I've waited for him a lot, a lot, a lot of time. But um, his enthusiasm has remained steadfast and only he's going to be able to direct this movie because only he should direct this movie. It is special. We've been through this. We've been through the development process, not the writing process, but he's laid out in great detail. The characters, the movie, the way in, what it's about, the tone, all of that stuff. Right. And, you know, I can't wait and we'll wait for him and, and hopefully we'll get. Look, he does a lot of movies. Right. Believe it or not, he can do a couple of movies a year. No, totally. My, my, my last question on Flash Gordon, even though I, I have a million things from the music to you name it. Um, is it connected at all to the original film with the Queen music or is it a complete redo just with it has the same title? It harkens in a very interesting way to the original conception from the comic books, from the comics. 